Imagine a life suspended between two worlds, the vast expanse of the ocean above and the uncharted depths below. The saturation diver's realm is one of constant vigilance, where every task and movement must be meticulously executed to ensure survival. It is a realm where time loses its meaning, and days blur into an endless cycle of work, rest, and anticipation. As the pressures mount, both physical and psychological, these brave individuals endure. They overcome the bone-chilling cold, the deafening silence, and the ever-present knowledge that a single misstep could result in disaster. On that fateful day, the four divers inside the decompression chambers of the Biford Dolphin remained oblivious to the unfolding disaster, as they met their demise in a mere fraction of a second. Their story is etched in history as one of the most brutal and painless deaths ever recorded. Welcome to this video, where we explore the tragic Biford Dolphin incident, a catastrophic event that unfolded in November, 1983, on a Norwegian-operated oil rig in the North Sea. This incident not only impacted the lives of those involved, but also had far-reaching effects on safety protocols within the industry. Join us as we delve into the harrowing details of this incident and unravel its profound implications. And as always, viewer discretion is advised. The Biford Dolphin, operated by Dolphin Drilling, was a semi-submersible oil rig that played a crucial role in offshore drilling operations. Equipped with advanced drilling equipment, the Biford Dolphin was designed to tackle challenging drilling tasks in the British, Danish, and Norwegian sectors of the North Sea. With a maximum drilling depth of 20,000 feet, the rig showcased its capabilities in exploring and extracting resources beneath the ocean floor. With its impressive dimensions and drilling capabilities, the Biford Dolphin provided a platform for highly skilled saturation divers to descend to extreme depths and carry out maintenance tasks on offshore oil rigs and subsea pipelines. Saturation diving is a highly specialized deep-sea diving technique where divers descend to depths exceeding 500 feet to perform various missions, including deep-sea construction, maintenance of underwater structures, and scientific research. Unlike traditional commercial divers, who spend only a few hours underwater before resurfacing, saturation divers endure extended periods of up to 28 days on a single job. This eliminates the need for decompression after each dive, as saturation divers undergo this process only once at the conclusion of their mission. Decompression is a crucial safety measure in scuba diving because of how the human body responds to changes in pressure while submerged underwater. To illustrate, imagine you're scuba diving underwater, and the deeper you go, the more pressure there is from the water above you. Your body needs to adjust to this pressure, and it does so by absorbing extra gases, mainly nitrogen, from the air you breathe. It's like your body is filling up with tiny bubbles of gas. Now, when you start to come up to the surface too quickly, these bubbles can't escape from your body fast enough. That's when the trouble begins. The tiny bubbles can get stuck in your joints, tissues, and your bloodstream, causing all sorts of problems. This can result in pain in your joints and muscles, akin to a severe case of the flu. It can even lead to more serious issues such as breathing difficulties, heart problems, and even paralysis in extreme cases. To ensure their safety and minimizing the risks associated with decompression, saturation divers reside in cramped and high-pressure chambers, where they eat, sleep, and rest between their shifts. These chambers are pressurized to mimic the conditions at the extreme depths at which they work. The demanding nature of saturation diving sets it apart from other forms of commercial diving. Their occupation comes with substantial compensation, ranging from $30,000 to $45,000 per month, reflecting the high level of skill, expertise, and physical demands involved. The background of saturation diving sets the stage for the tragic incident that unfolded on November 5, 1983 on the Biford Dolphin. The incident occurred during a deep-sea diving operation involving a complex system of diving chambers and a diving bell. At 4 a.m., two attendants were stationed outside the living chambers, with the vital task of connecting the diving belt to the pressurized chambers through a tunnel known as the trunk, which serves as the attachment point for the diving bell. Within the diving chambers, four divers were present. Divers 1 and 2 were resting in chamber 2, while divers 3 and 4 had just returned from the diving bell after a dive. 
the chambers were maintained at a pressure of 9 atm, which was 9 times greater than the surrounding environment. The normal procedure in this operation would have been as follows. A. Close the bell door. B. Slightly increase the bell pressure to seal the door tightly. C. Close the door between the trunk and chamber 1. D. Depressurize the trunk to 1 atm. And finally, open the clamp to separate the bell from the chamber system. At 4.08 am, operation A and B had been successfully completed, and Diver 4 was in the process of closing the door separating the trunk from Chamber 1. However, in a tragic and unexplained turn of events, one of the tenders opened the clamp prematurely, causing a sudden and catastrophic pressure release. This resulted in a violent explosion of high-pressure gas from the chambers through the trunk, pushing the diving bell away and tragically striking the two tenders, with one losing their life instantly. Simultaneously, inside the chamber system, Diver 4 was attempting to close the chamber door when the accident occurred. Unfortunately, the door jammed, trapping him inside. The force of the explosion propelled him through the narrow chamber door opening, causing him to disintegrate immediately. This resulted in his violent dismemberment, with his abdominal section split and his organs ejected from his body. The area was splattered with his internal organs, and forensic investigation revealed the presence of large amounts of fat in the arteries, veins, and organs of all the divers. The rapid pressure change caused the fat to separate from the blood, and the victims exhibited unusually strong rigor mortis. It is believed that all four divers perished instantly and without pain, along with the dive tender. Fortunately, Martin Saunders, one of the tenders, managed to survive the incident despite sustaining severe injuries. Following the tragic incident, a comprehensive investigation was launched to ascertain the cause of the accident and determine accountability. The committee responsible for the investigation conducted a thorough examination of the site. Based on their findings, they concluded that the accident was the result of both human error and engineering failure. At the time of the incident, communication between the divers and tenders outside the chamber system was challenging because they relied on a bullhorn attached to the wall surface. This method was often compromised by the heavy noise generated by the rig and the surrounding sea. Additionally, the personnel on the rig were subjected to exceedingly long shifts, occasionally lasting up to 16 hours, which inevitably led to significant fatigue. Cramond, who was responsible for ensuring that the chamber door was securely sealed before taking any further actions, unintentionally released the clamp before the trunk had been adequately depressurized. This error resulted in a sudden decompression, leading to fatal injuries for the divers and tenders involved in the operation. The Biford Dolphin Diving System, dating back to 1975, lacked fail-safe hatches, outboard pressure gauges, and interlocking mechanisms. These safety features would have prevented the trunk from being opened under pressure. Following the tragedy, certification rules were revised to require fail-safe seals, interlocking mechanisms, and other safety measures in bell systems. The Biford Dolphin incident served as a catalyst for enhancing safety protocols and equipment standards to prevent similar accidents in the future. Shortly after the tragic event, a lawsuit was filed by the North Sea Divers Alliance, composed of early North Sea divers and the victim's relatives, with the aim of seeking justice and further investigation into the tragedy. However, it took 26 years for the Norwegian government to acknowledge its responsibility for the tragedy and provide compensation to the families of the victims. Thank you for joining us on this journey, as we delved into the Biford Dolphin tragedy, a devastating incident that occurred on a Norwegian-operated oil rig in the North Sea. It serves as a somber reminder of the challenges and risks faced by those who brave the depths of the ocean to ensure the smooth operation of offshore structures. Our thoughts go out to the victims and their families, who have borne the weight of this tragedy for years, seeking understanding and closure. If you found this video informative, Please remember to like it and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on more content. Until next time.